Hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Final Fantasy IV on the PSP. This is Moogle Fantasy, and this is also brought to you by Much Game Guides. Today, we're going to go ahead and go to Mysidia and uh, continue our mission that we were set out to do. This could go really, really good or really, really bad, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be really, really bad considering the manipulation of the king. I am not looking forward to this, because I already know what's going to happen. So, if you guys are sensitive to things like this, then uh, look away. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's not called Mysidia. I'm pretty sure it's called Mist. <laughs> Mysidia is a different place. <laughs> Just thinking about it now. But yeah, the ring is glowing, and, uh, in comes tragedy. Also, if you didn't notice, I did put the arrangement back on instead of the original, because I figured I'd mix them up a little bit. I do like the arrangement, don't get me wrong, but nothing beats the original, in my opinion. Because the music is just so good in this game. What? This is it? This is why he sent us here? We've destroyed the entire village! Why would he make us do this? No, mommy! Oh lord. My mom's dragon died, and then my mom... My mom, she... <laughs> what? I've heard of people with power to summon such beasts. Summoners, they're called. Then, you don't mean by killing that dragon, we have also killed this girl's mother? Oh, you shouldn't have said that out loud, dude. You killed my mom's dragon? We didn't know this would happen. So that was the king's wish, to annihilate every summoner in this village. That can't be. I'm afraid it's true. I'm also afraid we're going to have to get rid of the girl. Kane! We have to obey the king's orders. But she's just a child! You intend to defy the king? I refuse to continue any more slaughter in the king's name. Huh. I was hoping you might say that. You won't be standing against Baron on your own. Kane? I owe the king much. But I can't disgrace the dragon. Uh, <laughs> Kana, I can't talk. I owe the king much, but I can't disgrace the dragoons. So you'll join me? Yes. But we need allies if we are going to oppose the mightiest kingdom in the land. We'll have to get Rosa f far from danger as well. Thank you, Kane. Save it. This isn't just for your sake. This place is dangerous. We better get going. What about the girl? We can't leave her. We'll have to take her with us. You can't stay alone here, girl. It's too dangerous. Come with us, and we'll... No! Oh. Come on. We have to go now. No! Stay away! Wait. I hate you. You killed my mom. Yeah, this went uh, as well as I expected. Okay, so we're just going to defend because this is a scripted fight and we literally have no reason to hit her. And I'd rather not hurt this poor girl because she is very important to this game's story. Oh wow, this effect's kind of cool looking. I totally forgot about that. They did a really bang on job with this remake. How many times has this game gotten remade now? Like, twice? <laughs> I wouldn't say three times considering I don't think there's a mobile port of this game other than the one that came out on um, PC. So, definitely twice. As long as it doesn't get that mobile fucking RPG maker mock-up, that'd be fine. At least this game actually had effort put into the sprites. 
She's safe. Thank goodness. Kane? Kane? Oh, Kane disappeared, it looked like. I have to get her out of here. Kane, I pray you're that you're alive. Yep. This might be a little problematic, though, because who knows what this girl's going to do when she's conscious. I guess we can only imagine what's going to happen now from here on out. So we're in Kaipo? I have to find her a place to rest. Hmm. Welcome. Oh, she looks very pale. Is she alright? Get her to bed. Quickly. She can rest here, free of charge. Thank you. Sasso is such a dad. <clears throat> hey, are you alright? My name's Cecil. What's yours? I'm sorry about your mother. I understand if you can't forgive me. Will you at least let me protect you? Yep. That, uh... Went as well as you'd think. <laughs> Uh-oh. Cecil, I finally found you. Wait. I'm here on the king's orders. All summoners from mist must be annihilated. Hand over the girl now. Never. Then you shall die. Oh, lord. The one thing I do miss is seeing the, like... The transition to battles. That was a that was a cool animation. But um the arrangement is like the arrangement honestly is really good. I do like I like the um I just thought about it now. I don't think this is the arrangement. I think this is the original. I think in game this is actually the original, but I guess because I didn't set it to... Oh god, I didn't realize the whole time this was fucking original. <laughs> Oops, I'm dumb, I didn't even realize that. Oh lord, I was enjoying this too much. Are you okay? Yes, don't worry about me. I'll let, I won't let anyone hurt you. Oh wow. Promise? I promise. Daddy Cecil, here to protect Iridia. I'm Rydia. Rydia? Summoner Rydia has joined the party. Oh yeah. One of my favorite characters in Final Fantasy ever. She's absolutely, probably one of the best characters as far as, like, the way she is in this game. All set? You're damn right. Okay, so let me go ahead and fix the, um, music selection. Put in arrangement. So you guys can hear, um, the music. Because, uh, I'm dumb and uh, never changed it before I came in here so I could show it off. So now you know. Anyway, so, Rydia is level 1 compared to being level 11. Which is going to suck. Considering Rydia is going to basically be useless for a while. But I will buy her a little staff. We should get some armor for her, though. You know, to help her, uh, you know, not die. Okay, the run kind of throws me off a little bit because of how fast this dude's going. But I'm going to get used to it. Oh, there's a merchant over here, too. Like this guy. Naming way. I don't want to change my name. I would change my name based off the members of the Much Games crew. But I want to stay kind of consistent. Because usually when I play these games, I, I just, I, I have this thing where I really just like to keep everyone at their default name. I don't really like naming them after things unless, like, I absolutely have to. Otherwise, most of the time I don't do it. Okay, so. Oh, you're already set. You'd think the game would give you, like, actual armor upgrades. Okay. Well... What a shame. Okay, so we do need to go to our next destination. 
because I don't think there's really anything more we could do here. Um, actually, if you talk to the townsfolk, because I'm pretty sure they say it mentioned something about a cave that you have to go up. So, but I already know where to go. I know I'm breaking the immersion by already kind of getting ahead of myself, but you know what? For the sake of this playthrough, we're gonna do what I set out to do, and that's play through the game and not really pay any attention to, like, what the townsfolk say, because that's just gonna waste more time. So, she, does ha she doesn't have access to magic yet, but she will learn it. Um, as she is a summoner, and summoners, for some reason, in this game, only learn black magic and white game uh, magic. Um, I don't know if they do that in other games. Oh, wait, no, they do. I keep forgetting about that, but there you go. She learns black magic. I just realized, because, uh, technically Yuna in Final Fantasy X, and... <clears throat> God, I'm so stuffed up. I don't know why. Okay, anyway, <clears throat> what I was saying is that other Final Fantasy games, um, the other um, summoners do le learn magic, so I, I keep forgetting about that, actually. So, silly me to even forget that. Oh boy, you missed. That's not fun. As long as Rydia doesn't take any damage. Oh, I, did, I forgot to put her in the back row. Crap. Yeah, whatever you do, don't ever put your spellcasters in the front row. Don't be dumb like me. I could actually have her use magic, but she doesn't have very much MP, so I'm gonna, like, not use it. Are these enemies ever gonna attack? I don't think they are. Wow, so much for an enemy called Killer Fish. He didn't kill anything. Are, am I... Okay, I'm on active. That's weird. Those enemies didn't really attack a single time. Odd. Okay, so I'm glad I stopped, because uh, I kind of need these. Okay, so... Kill these guys. Now, I will be skipping a decent amount of the battles. Um, especially if it's fights that we've... Oh my goodness, I, I actually forgot to put Riddy in the fucking back row again. Okay, that's okay. As long as she doesn't die. Oh! Me and my big fat mouth. Do I have a phoenix down? Please tell me I have a phoenix down. I don't. Okay. Well, that blows. And that, my friends, is why you don't do stupid shit like that. So I'll be right back. All right. To cure desert fever, you need a rare jewel called the Sand Pearl, found only in a cave where the antlion dwells. Or the antlion. So, we find out that, uh, Rosa is sick. Yep. So we have that information. I actually totally forgot about that. That slipped my mind when I was doing this. When I went into that cave. So now we gotta go talk to that old man. Her, der. I don't know why the heck I did that. Ah, uh, silly me. I'm, I am the total dummy. Okay, so I'm gonna go sleep at the end and I'll see you guys back at the cave. Okay, so we're back here. Um, I don't know how I missed that. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk to Mr. Old Man here. Could that be? It is. That dark sword, dark knight. I need your assistance. What's wrong? I must get to Damsian to reclaim my daughter. She was deceived by the wicked bard. We must hurry, for since I am, for I sense an 
ill omen. You must be say Tala. In the flesh. I also have Alzheimer's. <laughs> he doesn't actually say that. I just wanted to be funny. <laughs> Indeed I am. That girl. She's a summoner. Perfect. She can help too. A giant monster lurks in the lake ahead. The devil withstands magic. I think we can defeat it together. And I finally can be on my way. We're hurrying to Damsian as well. Then let us make haste. So, Tella actually does make, uh, he, he is a very important character in this game's story, too. But, yeah, I, I seriously don't know how I forgot about Rosa being in the desert. Because I remember last part, or one of the townsfolk was mentioning that there was a girl who got uh, hit with desert fever. And I'm like, stupid for not realizing that. So, my apologies for forgetting that. I guess editing this video, future me will be like, Hey, dumbass, you forgot something. Okay, so... I hate to be the bearer of bad news teller, but I gotta put you a little downer more. Because, uh... Well, you know, I gotta keep you uh, old folk away from the kids. But that and, uh... You know, you need to be in the back row. Also, if you go in this waterfall, you get some secrets. Just worth mentioning that. I don't think there's anything else here, to my knowledge. But I just wanted to point that out. You get some really cool stuff there. Not that it really makes much of a difference, but hey, you know what? It's nice to know, right? Also, Tella hits like a fucking freight train. He is also like significantly higher level than us. So, yeah, he's level 20. I think that's it, right? Okay. But yeah, he is level 20. He's pretty much a powerhouse. But he's good for grinding. So if you want to get Rydia up to level whatever, this is the guy to do it. He's absolutely perfect for it. The spell animations look so nice in this version, too. I'm actually kind of glad I did this version instead of the SNES one. As much as I love the SNES version, it is kind of butchered, especially in the US, unless I did the fan translation version, which, like, fixes, obviously, a lot of the issues, and it's a lot harder. I'd rather play this one just because I like the aesthetics of it a lot more. Plus, it looks nice. And I can actually record it properly, so... Because anytime I ever do an emulator, I have some weird issue. And I say that as I'm actually playing this off an emulator, but it's actually one of the few emulators that doesn't bug out. So. And I run emulators off of my SNES Classic, like, all the time. Pretty much any, like, retro game playthrough that I do is pretty much done off of the, um... It's done off the, the SNES Classic. It's just because I like the, the way it runs. The problem is, is that... The way it runs is not... Oh shit, I accidentally... Wait, isn't there like a dedicated... Oh, there is. I'm just the dumb dumb. There is a dedicated all button. There we go. Boom. And ready again to another level. <laughs> okay, there's a thing over here that. Okay, we're not gonna worry about this right now. I wanna go get that chest. Zambies! Alright. Well, you know what that's time for. Let's fire them. Oh, interesting. Do they not? Do they take thunder? They take thunder, don't they? They have to be vulnerable to thunder. You'd think zombies would be weak to fire. Okay. Well, let's light them up then. Nope, that doesn't do shit all either. Well, technically, lightning and thunder are two different things. So, can't really see that. Okay, so, 
go back up this way. Get ourselves a potion. These guys I know are weak to thunder. These guys also give a shitload of experience too. The guys in the back. But they don't die. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't run away yet. How is it not dead yet? What? Damn, you are one tanky boy. There we go. Nothing over here. Okay. I'm not gonna worry about this right now then. Okay. Thank you. That was, like, three random encounters in a row. Totally not annoying at all or anything. Okay, so we'll just go up this way. There we go. Okay, so we'll just go up this way. We'll rest here. This magic field repels all the monsters. You can save and use a tent or cottage in here. Let's use my tent to rest and prepare for the upcoming battle. You're damn right. This girl's asleep already. She must have been exhausted. Who is she? A summoner from the Village of Mist. She holds great potential. With proper training, she'll be able to master many spells. Look at her. What a cute face. She reminds me of Anna at, an, at that age. Who is Anna? My daughter. She eloped with a bard to Damsian because I didn't consent to their union. What business do you have in Damsian? A friend of mine suffers from desert fever. A friend? You really just downgraded her? Isn't that your girlfriend or wife? Come on, dude. Cecil, come on. You can't do that. That's just rude. Ah. So you came for the sand pearl. It won't be easy to obtain. Tell me more about this monster we must face. A vicious creature with eight huge tentacles. We must kill it and reach Damsian. Before it's too late. Too late for what? I don't know. I only pray for my instincts. Uh, God damn, I can't talk. I only pray my instincts are wrong. Okay, so, all set. Something worth mentioning, actually, is uh, I actually didn't even equip the... Uh, there we go. That's what I meant to do. You're okay for now. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and save. go okay now the funny part is get this um, if you notice she, uh, she has every black magic spell except for fire that plays a significant role later on and you'll see exactly why um, I thought that was kind of clever they did that and you'll see exactly why she knows every other spell but fire. Um, I remember when I was younger, I noticed that too. Ice Rod. Perfect, actually. It'll be good for Rydia. But, um, I figured that was kind of funny to show off. And we'll learn more why that's happening. And I didn't... I didn't... Okay. It's okay. Not the worst thing to happen. Perfect. Okay. 
something there's too much going on here. Alright. Go through this door. I like when you open doors. They're so loud for some reason. They're just... Sounds like he's barging in. He's like, I'm here! I love it. Let's go the other way. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and equip the uh, ice rod. Did I just... Okay. Just making sure I didn't accidentally fat finger the uh, R button. Okay. Perfect. Let's head our ass out of here. Wait, hold on. I'm not missing anything, am I? God, I hope not. Okay. Now, if you go over here... You can get yourself a secret chest. I think that's one of the secrets. Not that it really makes much of a difference. It's just a nice little shortcut that you definitely don't need to do. Oh boy, blue and yellow frogs, my favorite. And guess what? We get turned into a damn toad. Them to mix up our spells too while we're at it. Yeah, Toad has a really low hit rate, so something to keep in mind when you're doing this. Okay, so just mix up the spells for a little bit. Ooh, ether. Ooh, Antarctic wind. It's quite a name for a uh, item. Oh boy. Ain't that fun to deal with. Four of them! Okay. Blizzard the frig out of these guys. Because I don't want to be turned into a damn toad. Frogs are gross. At least they give you a maiden's kiss. This leads outside. Oh. <clears throat> this leads outside! The monster lies in the cave beyond. Use a tender side if you must. We may have to do that. Ooh, preemptive strike. Nice. But, um... <clears throat> yeah, it's it's good to actually tent here. Because you... Oh, God, please don't get turned into one. Eh, okay, nice. But, um... It's good to do that because the boss is actually kind of a pain in the ass. So... And this is definitely a longer episode. So, oh, my gosh. Bronze Hourglass, Shadow Blade. Shadow Blade. It's also a name of a character in Heroes of New Earth, which I used to play a shitload before the game kind of died, which sucks. Okay, so we got a preemptive strike. I'm gonna take care of this guy. Just blizzard the hell out of these guys. So Tella actually is a the thing that I like about Tella in this game is he's so helpful in telling you to actually make sure to do like for example he told you to use the tent on the outside before you go into the cave, which is exactly what we're gonna do. Go the safe approach. Um because it is very important to keep yourself healthy for this upcoming fight and have enough MP to take out this guy. I mean, you don't have to if you want to take the risk and not waste a 10. But we have three of them. May as well use them. Um, we're also going to save. Also, make sure to save. That's very important, too. But uh, we're good on this, so yeah. Also, I do want to point out, too, how, re how good the freaking artwork is for the characters. And holy shit, this place is loud. He's down there! Well, down we go. Okay, so. Oh, 
All right. At this point, I'm not really surprised on how many encounters I have to deal with. I'm just gonna thunder these guys. Okay. Those are the does then. Oh, nice. You're using Osmos on the character that doesn't use mana. Good job. Okay, <clears throat> these guys do not take spells at all. Oh my lord. Can you stop with the Osmos? Oh, I should have attacked the tiny dudes. Oh well. Man, nothing hits these guys. Oh my lord. Okay. I gotta remember to hit the tiny dudes, because my force I have is just a fat finger of the god. Wow. Oh, you gotta be. Alright. Can I hit this guy out of paralysis? I think I can. No. You know SNR, right? Use it. God, I hate these enemies. This is why I don't fight them. They're probably the worst enemies in the early game. Use hold on a person that doesn't attack. Good job. Fuck out of here. I don't know if that was worth it. I'm gonna go ahead and use ether though on you and you. <clears throat> yeah, next time I see those guys, I'm just gonna run. Holy crap, that was awful. Go ahead and grab these. Hades armor. Hermes sandals. Which is good for me. Always good to upgrade the uh, armor. I wish you could give armor to... Oh, there's the boss over there. Um, I won't worry about that right now. Because I want to see if there's any more stuff. Okay. Anyway. I want to see if there's any more stuff that we can... Uh, get before we continue onward. Aha! Hades helm. Hades gloves. Perfect. Just what I needed. Hades helm. Hades gloves. All we need is... I think that's it, actually, thinking about it now. Alright. Let's go ahead and fight the boss. Uh... We're not super healthy. I'll just do this just in case. All right, let's go ahead and fight this little bastard. There he is. Watch out. All right, so the Octomammoth. Um, he's a weird boss. We'll just put it this way. So what we're gonna do is thunder the shit out of this guy. I'm taking a big risk doing darkness. But that's okay. Oh my gosh, look at the damage he's doing. Okay, um... I think it's, he's either weak to Blizzard or uh, Thunder, but I'm pretty sure it's Thunder he's weak to. Yeah, he's definitely weak to Thunder. <laughs> he just changed forms, even though I didn't really do that much damage to him. 
Yeah, we're just gonna auto the guy. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so we're going to heal up. Yeah, the Thunder's not doing too much damage, but Cecil's sure making short work of this guy. Okay, so... You know what? Let's summon the Chocobo. I actually never even got a chance to do that. Let's see how much the Chocobo does. <laughs> that animation actually looks pretty cool. Oh wow, it did a surprising amount of damage. gonna use random spells on it. Cook the goddamn... Okay, yeah. He's definitely weak to thunder, then. For some reason... Oh, you know what? I think he's immune to magic, thinking about that now. That's probably why he's talking, taking... Because I'm pretty sure Talon did mention that he is... He doesn't take very much magic damage. That's probably why he asked Cecil to help him. Harder. Who knew? 95 damage, though. Pretty good. All right, let's bring up the Chocobo again. There you go. <laughs> the animations are so fucking great. Oh, wait. Oh, I almost fat fingered the uh, fire button and I didn't mean to. I didn't want to do that. Or the blast this dude with thunder. And he's dead! We win the video game! Come now! Damn the engine's beyond this waterfall! Hmm. You don't say. Alright! And with that being said, I will see you guys next time for another episode of Final Fantasy IV! You guys take care of yourselves, and I'm off.